I never wanted to go back. I didn't want to help the people. Um, I didn't want, I just wanted to disconnect myself. Yuma native Ellie Sawyer went to Jordan to help Syrians fleeing from their war-torn country. Her first experience left devastating visions. First-hand videos from the Syrian people of heads getting chopped off and of people getting blown up and babies getting tortured. And when you see those things, it changes you. And all of them had been through some horrific things. Since then, she's returned four times. The opposite still happens. You still want to go help and you still want to go level on them. Now our focus is the Jordan Project, helping Syrian refugees who fled to Jordan's urban areas. She's already established a skilled team of farmers, metal workers, and other trade professionals. And over the summer, they'll travel overseas to help teach refugees new trade skills in Mifrak, Jordan. It's important for a couple of reasons. One is because we can, you know, and I feel that we've been put in a position to help these people and what we do with our, you know, uh, our resources we're accountable for. The UNHCR recognizes the dire need for support. It's the first time they're giving cash assistance alongside other aid. Most people um, have basically spent all of their savings. They have absolutely no recourse for financial assistance and legally they cannot work in Jordan. The organization says there's well over half a million registered refugees who choose to stay in urban areas instead of going to refugee camps. As the Jordan Project advances, they'd like to build more affordable housing. It's become scarce with the influx of Syrian refugees, and the UNHCR says they don't foresee Syrians being able to go back to their war-torn country anytime soon. The rent in most cases has gone up because there, there are cases of landlords who have been taking advantage of the situation and raising the rent. A vision that some people hope they can change. Uh, you always have to struggle with like, are you dealing with like, you know, a terrorist? Are you dealing with someone who's just truly protecting their family? But some of those, those are the things you can't dwell on when you're there because at, at the end of the day, you're there to level the people and for what they've gone through. In Yuma for ABC 5 News, I'm Christy Wilcox.